All right, my friends, time for day 12 of building this chicken coop. It's gonna be another short day, but I did pick up the foam that I was missing from the roofing store. It's this here uh, flexo vent, this, this stuff. And you put it underneath your ridge cap such that uh, supposedly wasps and bees and whatnot can't fly into your structure super easy. Now, I'm gonna have so many holes in this thing, I don't know if it matters, but I might as well put this on because I don't feel like crawling back up on the roof to put it later. So this is what I'm talking about. I have my inverted T, and then I put the per top purlin right at the edge of that inverted T. I should have probably put it down, giving myself, you know, half inch here or something, but I was trying to, I don't know what I was trying to do. So, I'm cover this up. Oh, we forgot our screws. Oh well, let's get the flexo vent attached and then I'll go get the screws. It says it's easy. Flexo vent, specs an easy install. I was told you can put it right on here, or I can put it on the roof. It was recommended I put it on the, by the metal store, it was recommended I put it on the actual ridge vent itself and then smush it down on, but the picture here actually has it going on the roof and then you put the purlin on top of it. Okay, we're probably just going to do what the, what the instructions say. I mean, the roofing company has a ton of experience. I trust them, but uh, the instructions put it on here. Now well, they said 10 foot roll. Ah, 20 foot, 10 plus 10. There you go. So I got two rolls that are 20 foot, so I can do 12 and 12 and have eight foot left over from each roll, but then have a contiguous run. I like it. All right, which means this is in my way. It's gonna blow, it's gonna slide away, I bet. Oh, it's a screw. Good. Okay. Beautiful. Now I could use this and have more of the next piece. I mean, I think they would butt up against, then instead of one eight inch piece, or two eight foot pieces, I have um, one longer piece. Why not? I think they'll stick together just fine. End to end. We don't want to do the litter bug here. I mean, it's such a short little piece. I can't believe I had to buy a whole 20 foot roll for that. What was that? Four foot? Three foot? Yeah. Little tiny three foot piece. Put this last little stretch on. We'll put steel wool on, wool on both ends once we're done. Okay, we're done with this. Put it in my filing drawer. Now, we'll put the long piece on this side. I bet you I'm supposed to put a little piece right here because that's open. Right there is open. I can reach it with a ladder. Since I've already filed my roll down there. I'll get a ladder and touch that up. 
Now, what I was told was you go through the ribs, not through the open and then pull it down. You go through the ribs. Not if I, not if I walk off the ridge, I ain't. So while y'all were busy playing the, my camera battery died, I can't record game. I finished screwing in the piece up there. And I measured, we need three feet of this other one. So let's mark off and try that little rigid cutoff wheel. I ordered new blades for it, not here yet. So we tried taking the foot off. Maybe we have just enough to cut this little piece. Let's check. I don't know if you're supposed to do that or not, but eh, makes sense to me. Okay, cut edge, slide underneath. <laughs> this will be fun, three layers of tin. Okay, we'll put a piece of this on the other side, like we did here, and we'll be done. We'll have a roof. One layer was actually enough. I don't think I needed two over there, but I can't imagine it hurts. All right, we still have daylight. Let's see what we can get done on the door. So a quick recap on how I'm gonna approach this door is I am four foot from, well, from the opening, right? I'm 46 inches on the opening itself. So if I go an inch above and an inch below, that, that gives me a four foot, which means I can take a four, a four bite sheet of plywood paneling, lop it in half. Then I got a four foot sheet for the right and a four foot sheet for the left. And then I just have to trim them down to be the correct width so my doors We'll be over here. So what we have here is our left door and our right door cut for this hole. We got it set up where the grooves will line up with the grooves up here whenever they're closed. So the next step is going to be making the X brace around each side to make them more rigid so that then we can put hangers on hinges on them and hang them up. And this is where we're going to leave it for tonight. Still need to put the X brace in the middle because the hinges are going to be on the left. I'm going to make this piece the solid one so that as it tries to lean, the weight pushes against this bottom left corner. And then we'll just make it look pretty, put the two little pieces above and below that actual supporting beam. That'll be tomorrow if it's not raining. That's where we're at. Chicken Mega Coop day 12. Seems like I'm never going to get this thing done, but a uh, little bit of progress every day. Eventually we will get there. It is coming along. So far today we got the ridge cap on and all squared away with the foam sealer underneath. Got the back corner piece of gutter installed back there. Put the last piece of foam in so that all 24 feet of guttering has the leaf guard in it, and a first level filter for whenever I finally get rainwater collection set up. And that's where we're at on the end of day 12. Should be completely dry on the inside, shy of no doors. Can no longer see daylight along that ridge that I was seeing because I was missing that foam. Chicken Megacoop, day 12, 